So you know that Japan makes incredible golf clubs, but did you know they make some other incredible golf products as well? In this video, I will show you two really awesome golf bags that I purchased from Japan that are not available here in the Western market. Hey guys, it's Noli with the Gaijin Golfer, where we take a look at Japanese golf products from a Western point of view. And if it's your first time here on the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. And if you enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Okay, so I know that my videos up until this point have focused solely on Japanese golf clubs and the companies that make them but I wanted to show you guys other golf products coming out of Japan because quite frankly, I think they make some awesome stuff aside from just the incredible golf clubs. So in this particular video, I wanna show you two of the bags that I purchased in Japan that I think are awesome. They're my two favorite bags and I use them regularly. Now, if you're somebody who doesn't care what kind of bag you carry, then you know, then maybe this video is not for you. But if you are somebody like me who likes to have a nice bag, then stick around because I think what you're gonna see is actually pretty interesting. Now, these bags are interesting looking to say the least. Um, now, I don't mean that in a bad way. I just mean that they're very different. They're very different looking than the bags that we see here in the West. Most of the bags that we see in the shops here look almost exactly the same. It's just with a different brand or manufacturer on it. Um, but quite honestly, they're interchangeable. The bags in Japan, there are distinct looks to them and they look very different. Of course, there's a lot of high-end stuff in Japan as well, it's, it's different. Um, and just like the golf clubs, the bags are more pricey, um, but what you're paying for is the quality that goes into the bag and just the different design. And I'll shut up now and show you exactly what I mean. So let's take a look at the first bag. So first up from 2017 is the AW Metro Stand Bag from New Balance. Now right off the bat, you can see exactly what I mean by an interesting or unique looking bag with the metal handles there, the military influenced square pockets. Uh, there is even a dog tag as an accessory there. So you can see what I mean by just an interesting bag. I knew the moment I saw it that I wanted to get it specifically because it looks like nothing I've ever seen before. Um, here's a different color of the bag. Now in this particular picture with the, with the green, it obviously looks much more military. Um, it's part of a larger collection and, and that's kind of an interesting note about New Balance Golf Japan. Um, they have somewhat of a streetwear influenced um, fashion line as well as accessories. So if you want me to delve into that and do a video on that, comment down below and I'll be sure to get to work on that for you guys. But I did want to say there are two drawbacks to this bag. Number one, the straps are kind of squeaky when I carry this bag. So that's a bit irritating. The other thing too is it doesn't fit well into a cart um, because the bottom is kind of oddly shaped. So let me show you what I mean here. When I zoom in on this picture, you can see that the bottom is shaped kind of like a horseshoe. So those two prongs down at the bottom stick out and they make it difficult for the bag to fit well into a cart. Um, so it's kind of a pain in the butt, but the good thing is for 2020, they've made some modifications on the 2020 version of this bag and it looks really cool. They've kind of rounded it out. So let me show you a screen capture from Pro Golf Japan. And here you can see they've changed the design a little bit. They've gotten rid of the square pockets, but that base um, is now round, but they've also kept that metal handle up at the top. So this is the New Balance stand bag. Next, we have the 2019 Puma California Collection cart bag. Now, the very first thing that I noticed about this bag, in addition to the handle at the top, which is similar to the New Balance bag, is the material. It's a wetsuit, neoprene sort of material that I've never seen before on any other bag. And I think it gives the bag a really cool feel and look that is just unique, that you'll never see anywhere else. Now, the bag has three different colorways. There is the light gray, there's the navy, and then there's the medium gray. Uh, here's another look at it also from the Pro Golf Japan website. 
I think Puma knocked it out of the park with this bag. The pockets are incredibly deep. You can take a whole bunch of stuff with you. Um, I ran into a guy who works for Cobra Puma here in San Diego and he had never seen this bag before. So it's something I really wish Cobra and Puma would have released here in the States. The other thing too is they do make a stand version of this bag. And I wish I had seen this in Japan, but unfortunately I didn't see it. Otherwise, this is the version I would have picked up and brought back home. But again, this is something I really wish that Puma would consider selling in the United States. So there we go. Those are my two favorite golf bags from Japan. And like I said, they're different, right? But I am somebody who enjoys unique, different sort of things. It's actually part of the reason why I like Japanese golf clubs because not everybody has them in their bag. But what about you? Are these bags too different, too unique for you? Or if they were in your local pro shop, would you pick them up? Comment down below, let me know. I'd be interested to hear what you have to say. Also, do you like when I do videos about other things besides Japanese golf clubs? Uh, let me know so that way I can do more if you like them or not if you don't like them. <laughs> All right. So other than that, um, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. Uh, also consider hitting the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. But that is it. I hope you guys had a good time here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you're staying safe. Hope you're doing well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.